welcome to a new vlog my name's Nicola if you're new here if you're not welcome back <laughs> um, it's Saturday and I have as you could see just made the base for a cheesecake um, because tomorrow we're going to my mum and dad's for dinner and I'm making a cheesecake for dessert so that's what I've just done um, Mind you, it's quite hard going on the old hands and wrists during the biscuit crunching. I thought I'd mention that because just be careful on that one. I had to keep swapping my hands over. <laughs> right, so the plan for today, Mark's at work all day. Um, I am going to a local market. It's um, only on on selected days and one today is one of the days and it's only open till one. Oh my god it's half eleven now so I better get going um, not sure if I'm going to be able to film around there if I do it will be on my phone I will see what the vibe is like um, and then I'm going to come back and put the plants in that I got from I went yesterday you won't have seen that yet but I did film it for a Wednesday upload I went to an open garden with mum and dad I went to somewhere called Beely Abbey and I got some plants so I'm going to put those in and then I'm going to probably edit the Beely Abbey vlog for you um, Holly's in Italy enjoying um, a three night holiday with Louis so I wondered if you wanted to have a look at her photos that she sent the family um, they're on my phone so I'll have to show them on there so that's where they're in Sicily that's them too yesterday there's Holly with her Aperol spritz that was their dinner there's Louie and that's them in the that's what I imagine when I think of Italy I imagine like sitting outside having a drink and your dinner and all this around you so yeah looks like they're having a nice time so I'm gonna to head to the market now um, it's nice and sunny that's your weather forecast today at the moment it's sunny I think today and tomorrow is gonna to be sunny Monday's gonna be a washout it's bank holiday weekend I'm also wondering whether where well not whether but when to put up my coronation decorations because that's next Saturday so this time, next week, it'll be coronation day. It's coronation day! <gasps> it's coronation day! <laughs> so, I'm wondering, I might put them up on Tuesday. I'll, I will see. Um, also last week, what you missed, is I ordered a old perfume. Not old, this perfume isn't old, but it's an old perfume that I used to use. Giorgio Beverly Hills is the one with the yellow and white stripy box and when I tell you this has brought me such joy <laughs> it's cheap it's a cheap perfume but it lasts all day on me and I just love the smell because that's what I used to wear when I was a teenager and for some reason I stopped buying it I think your tastes just adapt and change and you know progress but I thought about it the other day and I thought oh, I want to I want to get a bottle of that again and I'm loving it loving it so yeah I've been I've got that on today I can smell it it's lovely right let's go to the market right I literally took about half an hour not even that probably 15 minutes there was just nothing I wanted it was just all like food products and just stuff that I wasn't really interested in so had a quick look round and then came back so I didn't buy anything um, right I'm going to hang my washing out and then put the plants in
Look at that. <laughs> it's a milky bar ice cream cornet. The ice cream man just came around. Poppy's got one. She's got um, a pot with Nutella and ice cream. I'm gonna go and enjoy this. my cheesecake attempt <laughs> a bit messy but I'm sure it tastes good good morning happy Sunday fun day um, today we are off to my mum and dad's um, beautiful weather again not supposed to be so nice tomorrow I don't think so we're gonna go for a roast dinner at my mum's um, not sure what else probably just sit in the garden hopefully and and chill out so that's our plans for Sunday. Now is this a bit risky? Do you think do you think it's gonna survive? Well it would be quite a laugh to uh, <laughs> see you heading it. Thanks. Welcome back. <laughs> right guineas, you're gonna move into the shed. Into the shed you go. Into the shed. You're having a new home in the shed. Because you're too noisy and you keep waking your mum up. Okay? <laughs> right, as you can see we're back. I didn't film anything at mum and dad's for the lunch because we just had a nice roast dinner, have a chat and then we came home. <laughs> so as you can see, or here, I have moved the guineas with Mark into the shed under Poppy's instruction because they were keeping her up all night being too loud and so noisy. They are the most vocal guinea pigs I mean we've only had four guinea pigs but they are very vocal so I'll show them to you in a minute they're absolutely happy as Larry I've just cleaned all the hutch out with Mark and because Poppy's at work otherwise obviously Poppy would do it because they're her guinea pigs but um, we've put them in there they're exploring it's like they've got a whole new home which is really sweet and don't worry if you're worried about them being cold in the shed they won't Alice and Toffee, our old guinea pigs, were out in the shed all their lives. They lived till they were six or seven, which is the sort of age guinea pigs live for. Um, in the winter, or the autumn and winter, we put a heat pad out there for them. So they're nice and toasty. Don't worry, we look after them. <laughs> um, but now, as you can see, poppy has got all this space back again. So I think that will please her as well, because obviously they took up a lot of her little bedroom this is Poppy's bedroom if you haven't seen it before um, <laughs> Mark made her bed which I think is quite cute because usually I put the pillows over here but I was like I'm just gonna leave it because Mark's done it and it's cute um, yeah there's all her teddies and yeah this is literally her room she's got 
fitted wardrobes in here that were already here. Um, it's this is it. This is the only space she has. So you can imagine when the guineas were here, there wasn't a lot of room. But now she's got that back, and the guineas are happy. Right, Mark's just putting duct tape on the back of my wreath so that it doesn't scratch the door where the wires are because I was going to put tissue paper there but I think this is a much better idea and then it won't scratch the door let's go and um, let's take you to see the guineas show you how happy they are Is it good fun? They've got a new treat toy in there as well. So they'll be over the moon with that. That big round long thing there or oval thing. But they're like, where are we? It's a new area. Oh, I've got to bring a black sack in here as well. It's already getting <laughs> stuff on the floor. But it doesn't matter in the shed. We'll sweep that up as we go along. But look at them. They're so happy. They've got all their stuff on top. Much better for them and much better for Poppy. One more thing I wanted to show you today is something that I bought for the umbrella, the garden umbrella, which is this. It's like a um, sandbag that goes on top of your base because whatever amount of wind we have, however little, however big, this umbrella ends up falling over and it drives us nuts so i bought this this was the bag was 17.99 from amazon we already had the sand and mark just filled it up with sand so now hopefully it's a lot more stable she says hopefully it is but i can link that in the description in case it's of any interest to any of you if you have the same problem with your umbrella stands Right, my intention now is to sit on my bottom <laughs> and uh, watch the telly for a bit. So I'm going to do that. Mark's just taken Holly's new car out for a spin just to make sure that it's all okay. And I'm going to have a rest. Good morning. Happy bank holiday Monday. The sun is out at the moment, which is brilliant because we're going to the Mayfair today. But... It's not supposed to last. Oh, it's not supposed to last. It's supposed to be rainy. But we will see, we will see. So, what time is it? Quarter past 11. I'm just making um, all, everyone, bacon sandwiches for like a brunch. And I've got a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down while I'm waiting for Mark. Mark's gone to do a job, a plumbing job for someone. But he should be back soon, it was only a little job and i'm going to start making some coronation pebbles to hide around the estate so i thought that would be good fun to do next week because the coronation is on saturday tomorrow i'm going to put all the decorations up so you can help me put my reef up in fact i need to put um some ribbon on it to hang it up with but like i say yesterday mark put all the tape on the back of it which is brilliant because now there's no wires sticking out at all um, so it won't scratch the door but I do need to put some ribbon on to, to hang it up so I'll just get the three ribbons and cut a length so that's really exciting putting the decorations up tomorrow and I'm hoping that there's going to be a lot of coronation coverage on the telly this week which will be delightful because you know I am a royalist I love the royals I love everything to do with the royals <laughs> so um, sat next what are we on today Monday yeah so it will be in your next weekly because on the Saturday is the coronation like I said and we've got both parents sets of parents coming over and Lisa and Mitch and we're doing a massive afternoon tea between all of us and watching the coronation together and we're all wearing red white and blue we're going to get a group photo which might be the thumbnail i don't know <laughs> um 
I'm so looking forward to it. And then there's a fly past at quarter past two at Buckingham Palace, I think. But we usually get them. Do you remember in the Jubilee? And I saw them all flying over here. I think I caught it on camera. I'm not sure. But yeah, I literally had it right overhead. And it was just incredible. So I'm really hoping that this will be the path that they go past. And we can all stand outside and watch them together. I just think it's really special that we're all together. Because, like I said, I mean, our parents won't see another coronation. We will probably see William coronated at some point. Coronated? Is that a... Crowned. I, I keep saying coronated. It's crowned. My dad corrected me yesterday. It's crowned. We'll probably see William crowned at some point, which I ho hope we do, because I love William. Um, but obviously not um, George. So that would probably be the girls, and they're not interested in the royals at all, so... Poor old George won't have my full attention then because I'll be 10 foot under. <laughs> right, let's not talk about death. Let's talk about doing these pebbles. So I'm thinking some Union Jacks and maybe some crowns. Um, I will Pinterest it, which I always do, and find some inspiration and then I'll show you what I've done. Right, we're on our way to um, the Mayfair. So we're going to Mark's mum and dad's first. Let me put you down there. Oof. Um, I've done some pebbles um, but I'm feeling really tired like so tired <laughs> so I was nodding off on the sofa I really could have done with a proper sleep I think but anyway I've got Mark's mum some pretty flowers look at those because red's her favourite colour I think anyway <laughs> so we're going to go there now go to the Mayfair hopefully it won't rain and then later we've got to pick up Holly and Louie from the airport because they are flying back from Italy tonight. You want me to get one? Get on the tombola. Yeah, we're here. don't normally. Zero or a five, is it? Zero or five, I'm not looking very good. Didn't get anything, Mum? You got one, 55. Oh. <laughs> Go over there, you. you know, keep me moving. I'm only joking. Two. Oh, no, I don't know why I bother doing this every year. The girls, they usually win. All zero. Oh, we've got one. Let's hope it's more than a tin of beans, eh? I can't stand the suspense. I can. How many did you get? Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> I thought it was another one then. No. <laughs> I'm busy chatting, mate. She'll get a thirst up in a minute. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. No clinking. <laughs> Can't clink with plastic. It's lovely. It was all going so well. And then the heavens opened up. And we got a bit wet, didn't we? Yeah. So now we're heading back to Mark's mum and dad's for a cup of tea and get dry. But we've got some cookies, but we're not going to have them now because we're going to have um, some fish and chips at Mark's mum and dad's. So, yeah, off we go to dry off. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Um, feeling very, very tired today. I really struggled getting up this morning really struggled but I was saying to Mark actually what happens when in the mornings with me is that I feel awful first thing like I crash into everything I fall over so I have to lay in bed for at least an hour before I get up when I've woken up just for my body to come to but if I lay in past that hour then I feel worse and then I could have just easily stayed in bed all day so I have to on that hour force myself to get up because otherwise I know I'm going to feel worse 
But anyway, today I'm going to put up the um, coronation decorations. That'll be exciting. What else? I'm just looking at my list. Oh, I've got to edit Friday's vlog. Get a baking vlog ready. Um, I've got to film a fibro section today. Decorated pebbles yesterday, and I shall show you them because I've got to spray those with finishing spray today. Um, and do my tablet pots. And the rest is going to be on the sofa. <laughs> watching YouTube and stuff probably um, yes just self-care today I have to listen but we're in a new month we're in May now so happy May and my birthday is this month <laughs> the 21st of May all the best people have their birthday in May I can tell you that so yeah there's lots to look forward to just need some energy right. These are the pebbles that I did yesterday. So this is the one that I'm going to keep for us. Um, and then I've written on the back of them all, King Charles III, 6th of May 2023. So I need to spray all of these. So I'm keeping this one, but the rest I'm going to do like a pebble hunt for the neighbourhood. Um, this one's on its side. So yeah, I've enjoyed doing those yesterday so I'm going to spray them I've got this ready to go on the front door and then these are all my other decorations so let's get this on the front door first there we go I think that looks pretty good first one done right we've got this crown um, you get a little straw with it. Oh, I can't see what you can see. There you go. So you pop it <coughs> where it says valve. She says. There we go. And then you blow it up from there. Oh god. This is so fiddly. There we go. I think I've got it now. There we are. And then I think you just stick it together to make the crown. Hang on. Oh, it's not working. Why is it not working? Did it? I had to go further down with the... Oh, hang on, some of these aren't blown up. They're all supposed to blow up as well. Let's try it again. Oh, God. Why do I do this to myself? I had to go much further down the thing here. I'll oh, pass out in a minute. Right, they're all blown up. Now I've just got to stick that to there. So take this off like that and stick this onto there. There we go. We have a royal crown. Stand up the uh, bits. I've no idea where I'm going to put it. <laughs> right, these ones I think are my favourites and they were £2 from B&M but they're paper which is why I thought I'd better um, bring them in here. Although the funny thing is when you get coronation bunting you're not going to be able to use it again are you? Because it's literally one use. <laughs> Whereas if we had just got Union Jack bunting, I could have used that again, but never mind. Um, and I've got old King Charles here on the coronation bunting going up there. So that's what they look like, which I think looks quite cool. Now I need to do these ones outside because they're plastic. I can reuse these because they're just Union Jack. Um, and I thought I might put a couple of flags outside as well and just leave, I've got one in the pot up there and then I'll have another one as well um, actually I might put three out I might put three outside right I'm going to go and do this now
Right, I've just got left these balloons, but I think I'm going to wait and do them Friday so that they're fresh and ready for Saturday. Um, I've just put King Charles Kevin Carrot there with the crown. <laughs> oh, that looks quite funny. Um, I'm going to spray these now and let them dry. I'm not going to do the pebble hunt today because I just haven't got the energy for it. Um, I'll let them dry and then I'll do it one day in the week when I'm able to. This morning, happy towel wash Wednesday. The towels are on, don't worry. I've just driven to a local um, retail park because I wanted to pop into Home Bargains um, because I saw in an advert that they've got coronation mugs for 2 99 I dare say they're sold out, but me and Mark both want one if they've got them. And I need a couple of bits of toiletries, you know. Um, and I just thought it would get me out for a bit because I was supposed to be seeing my mum today, but she's not very well. So um, instead, I've come here to Home Bargains. I've got my lunch with me. <laughs> I brought my lunch. I bought some um, chicken from last night. I'm just getting a weird look from a woman next to me, but I don't care. Um, and yeah so i'm going to go to home bargains if i've got the energy i might pop into poundland for a little look um and just pick up a few bits and then what am i doing oh well, later i want to hide the coronation pebbles that i sprayed yesterday so i want to hide those um around for the children to find when they come out of school so i've got to be back in time for that right let's go and see what's in home bargains a little longer than a few minutes later right i'm back no coronation stuff in home bargains and no coronation stuff in poundland whatsoever i just think that's a really poor show it's like what you know what, what if people have left it to the week before the coronation you should still be able to get stuff but it's all gone anyway <laughs> um and also, in Poundland, I saw three people going round with their pyjamas, dressing gowns and slippers on. And we're actually not close to any housing estate. Like, I could, I could kind of understand it if you lived right near it and you just wanted to pop in. I still wouldn't, but... Um, you know when you're trying not to look at someone and you think, are they really doing that? Are they they're good on them? They don't care, do they? Um, right. I'm going to have my lunch and I will show you everything that I've bought when I get home. It's not very exciting. <laughs> it's not very exciting. It's just bits and bats, as the lodge guys will say. Um, and then, yeah, because my battery's going to fade. So I should do that when I get home. But... Right, I'm home. I'm home, honey, I'm home. Okay, let's show you what I bought. There's the remnants of me lunch <laughs> had that okay we could do home bargains first because that's the majority of the stuff so i've wanted one of these cleaning scrubber things for i don't know how long years <laughs> and i heard that they sold them at home bargains and this was 5.99 so you get all the different head attachments and this is going to make cleaning a lot easier for me it's like a giant toothbrush isn't it because like things around the taps, the drawer, washing machine drawer, any little areas that you want to attack, you can use this. So I'm pleased that I finally got one. Um, I also got some salt and vinegar good chipsticks. They're quite low in calories, 83 calories a bag. So I've got a thing of six of them for lunches. I do like a packet of crisps with my lunch. Don't know why just do well i do know why it's because i've been brought up on it just how we had lunch was sandwich and a packet of crisps and it's just stuck i do like crisps so um i got a refill dove hand soap thing for all my hand soaps because you don't always see them so when you do see them you've got to grab them now i've got this finally got my hands on a souflora candle this one is midnight blue midnight blooms oh it's so nice and I'm going to put this in the kitchen. It says eliminates odours. I should have got one for the bedroom as well, actually, because that's where I struggle with the, the smell at night. So this smells so good. So I'm going to try that in the kitchen. Got probably some tea gel. She needed some. 
I got us some Beverly Hills um, formula toothpaste that's sensitive but whitening. So hopefully that will do both the jobs in one. Um, the girls like this bubble bath. It's a muscle soak one because they're gym bods. Gym bods. Oh, I've got a couple of birthday cards. I've got this for a little boy's birthday this month. And then I've got this cupcake one for someone we know who's got a birthday as well this month. Oh, these are Mark's favourite drinks, the Fanta Lemon. You tend to get these a lot when you go abroad as well, don't you? But these are the zero sugar ones, which are really good. So I got him two to have um, for his lunches for the next two days. I know he's going to really appreciate that. There's my tablet pot. I can't go anywhere without that. And then I got Mark some of these flapjacks. They're like 39, they used to be 29p, so they've gone up 10p. But I got him two cherry and almond flavoured flapjacks. He loves flapjacks. This is for his lunch boxes, and then two just plain ones, because he likes that. And then I did get myself a white chocolate one, because <laughs> why not, really? Um, oh, that's coming undone. Got a new um, kitchen spray in secret garden it's astonish one kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses including coronavirus so got that for when my other one runs out I always like to have one on standby and then I saw this for a little girl's birthday on Friday one of my friend's children um, and it's really good you know like this that's just something falling on the floor um, you know like the scratch art I did and I showed you it's a bit like that but with stickers so you've got the numbers can you see that the numbers of the stickers there and then on the other pages you've got like the the page that it belongs to and the stickers that you've got to put on there so I thought oh that's really nice nice little birthday present that and she's very into creative things so I got that, that was $1.99. Um, and then the only other thing I got from Home Bargains was this, which fell on the floor. You could hear it. <laughs> so this is um, a cabin, like hold, not hold, cabin. What am I trying to say? It's basically luggage, cabin size. But I wanted this because I've been looking for something similar. I wanted one of those hard ones, but they're really expensive, the hard shell ones. Um, this was 11 99 and I wanted to keep our toiletry bags in because you know I showed you when um, we go away, I have like my makeup bag and toiletry bag and then Mark's toiletry bag and that takes up most of the suitcase. So we can put the toiletry bags in here and it's also got pocket on the front it's just it's ideal and if we ever do go abroad <laughs> i'd like to think it's a nice thought um we can have this on the plane with us so yeah i was pleased with that thought that was rather good for 11.99 and then oh no mugs i think i told you that no mugs at all i was really disappointed um but poundland i just bought another fat block for the birds because they starlings go through it like there's no tomorrow um, oh and then I've got some stickers and a notepad so the notepad was actually from Asda because I did pop in there to look for mugs and they had mugs but they were massive Union Jack mugs like pint size and I don't want a Union Jack I want one with King Charles on it anyway I've got these stickers because what I'm going to do and this notepad is start journaling when I go to the zoo because I love the zoo so much, and these are all the animals from the zoo, I thought I can start, like, I, I make a, a, a nightly journal anyway, but I thought with this, I can journal every time I go to the zoo and what I did there, and what I saw, and everything like that, so I'm really pleased about that. I thought, yeah, that would be really nice. And then the, well, just got some conditioner for the girls. And then the last thing, this is from Asda as well, is this, it's number three spa retreat reed diffuser for the hallway. I was smelling all of them, because I really wanted a green one to go with the green hallway, but um, 
this one smelt the best and it's grey so it'll still go it's still neutral colour um, but yeah that was £4 so I'm hoping that one will be better than the Audi one that smelt of nothing I couldn't even smell it to be honest I kept turning the reeds over and no <laughs> right so that's it now I'm going to put this lot away and rest for a bit and then I need to get these pebbles out um, ready for the children to find right talking of the uh, coronation my top just arrived in the post I got this off of eBay it sort of looks like a dress but it's a top um, it was I think £7.99 and I thought well when I've got it I can use it for any royal celebration can't I um, but it looks quite big actually but I'm sure it'll be alright but I was just going to wear this with either leggings or jeggings and a navy cardigan probably but just being a bit you know supportive patriotic or whatever you want to call it <laughs> right, I'm just about to go and hide the pebbles for the children to find um, if I can I will film where I'm putting them it just depends if there's people around or not <laughs> I don't want to look like a weirdo <laughs> right okay first first place by this tree here got the crown so oh look there's a little crevice there we put the crown in there you see that there we go hidden in the tree someone will find that the reason that um what was I going to say? Oh, the reason I'm doing this now and not tomorrow is because tomorrow's shopping day and that kind of wears me out. And even though I've been out this morning, I just think I want to just get it over and done. I know it's over, get it over and done with, but make sure it's been done before the coronation, obviously. So I'm heading towards the primary school now. And then, because it's not very far from my house, it's literally at the bungalow. It's literally just outside. Um, and then find some more trees and places to hide the pebbles. The school is just literally here, so there's all these trees. Um, but I want to make sure they find them. And the grass is quite long. Um, so I might go up nearer the path because uh, otherwise they might get lost in the grass mightn't they so let's put one on here like that bye pebble and put this one here on this bench because it's near the park which I assume the kids will go to afterwards put one on this bench not in the bird poo put it in the middle in the middle <laughs> right, I'm going to put this one just by this lamp post oh just there there we go better find that the big crown and go oh there like that they'll find that won't they right last one last one Oh, there's a lamppost up here. I'll uh, put it there. There we go. All hidden for the children to find. Hopefully they'll get one. Good morning and welcome to Weird Thursday. And it's the 4th of May, which means it's Queen Charlotte Day on Netflix. Woo! So you know what I'm going to be doing this afternoon. Once I've finished putting the shopping away and editing Queen Charlotte all the way. Look what I managed to find in Aldi. Coronation flowers. Look at them. I am so... They smell gorgeous. What I was looking for was some red, white and blue flowers to buy separately to make a display. But then I saw these. They were 4 99 and they've even got the little pick in there as well. So I'm going to put these in a vase and put them in the middle of the table for the afternoon tea, I think. Oh, I just love them. I'm so pleased with them. Oh, I've just, <laughs> I've just doshed that flower. Oh, sorry, little flower. Oh, well. Right. I don't think there's anything else I need to show you. 
it's all the usual shopping um so i'm going to get this away and then start editing this vlog so i'm currently watching the bridgerton princess charlotte i meant to say it was bridgerton earlier um it's brilliant I'm, i've watched the first episode already so they're 45 minutes i think an episode so i'm on the second one but i thought oh i'm just gonna set the table and put some cupcake stands out um and get all that ready i'll blow up the balloons with a balloon pump tomorrow um but i'll do this and then show you what it looks like oh my god i'm in love with my coronation table so far so we've got the king charles serviettes i think actually i'm going to just take one of those for my scrapbook <laughs> before they all get you know messed up and i can always have a plate as well if there's i should think there'd be some left um we've obviously got king charles sitting there by his flowers and then these my dad got i've got two of them i've got this one and this one the same they were from asda for two pounds they're just cardboard but we can use them again not a problem so they will go in the cupboard ready for the next celebration and this one i have had for donkeys i have no idea where i bought it from so i can't tell you or link it i'm afraid but yeah i mean there'd be probably another one here um i should imagine mark's mum will bring another one for me and then we'll have four with cakes scones and sandwiches on but i'm really pleased with that i just think it looks so lovely with the flag in the back oh i'm made up i am i'm made up right before i love and leave you i want to show you some one really exciting thing that arrived yesterday oh my eyes look so black let me show you it's a new kitchen bin <laughs> so for those of you that remember I had one like this colour, the um, copper, but it had all rusted and I'm going with black accessories now. I'm going to be replacing the toaster in the microwave um, with black ones as well. So that's what arrived yesterday. Anyway, sorry I've been really tired this week, as you can see. As you know, with Fibro and ME, you get times when you get really fatigued and this week is one of those times um, I mean I'm always fatigued but more so this week than other times so you really have to listen to yourself and like Tuesday like I say I was just sleeping on and off on the sofa most of the day and for you it looked like I was busy 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 because all you see are the bits that I film, which are the busy bits. But there's a lot of time spent on the sofa. But the other thing that I've been doing is every afternoon around four o'clock, I've been doing five minutes, just five, on my exercise bike in the studio on just a low, you know, setting. And that is good because I've been resting so much. I also need to move my body a bit. Um, to counteract that because otherwise that can cause more pain when you're still for so long so I'm going to do another five minutes um, this afternoon and I'm going to try and do that every afternoon if I can just five minutes it takes five minutes no time at all so even if you just walk around your garden for five minutes or you know do some stretching it's really important to move especially if you're resting a lot. I just wanted to point that out. Um, anyway, thank you for watching this week. I'm so excited, if you couldn't tell about the coronation on Saturday. Um, so definitely give it a thumbs up if you're excited too. And it's not for everyone. I understand that, my girls aren't into it. <laughs> and um, leave me a nice comment, subscribe if you haven't done already for future videos. And I will see you all on Wednesday I have no idea what it is. What, is it? what even is it on Wednesday? Oh, it's spend a day with me. I don't usually film on Fridays. So I filmed last Friday. So it's, it's that on Wednesday. So you've got like a mini vlog um, on Wednesday coming your way. So take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Oh, 
enjoy every minute of the coronation and I will share all our experience with you the next week. Okay? Love you lots. Mwah. Bye.